Hi. So, um, today, what did I do? Well, first of all, I'd run out of um, clothes hangers, so I went and I bought clothes hangers. And I have to get ready to go pet sitting tomorrow at noon. So, um, I have some laundry to do with regard to that. And, um, yeah. I feel like I'm endlessly doing laundry. It's just ridiculous. So I was thinking about this whole, um, you know, paring down all my stuff and decluttering and all that stuff. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I'm very tired today. It's been a long day. Um, hey bud, you're all good. Um, so I was thinking about all this and there's a, a quote that I heard something like how, how to find out what you really need is to get rid of everything you don't. Don't know who said it. But it's probably true. <laughs> I was thinking about my whole decluttering journey. I used to have a lot more stuff. A lot more stuff. Before I before I moved to Nevada, I had more stuff than I do now. And I just had a three-bedroom, two-bath house full. So, yeah, I have things. Um... But, you know, most of the stuff in my house I hadn't used for a few years. So getting rid of things is really the thing I need to do the most. Um, and, yeah. Yeah, I know that. And I feel like I'm doing pretty good. But, man, this clothes situation is ridiculous. And the thing is, is and most of it is tops. I don't have many bottoms. Um, and I'd always found it easier to fit into bottoms than tops. So that I don't get. But, you know, I used to have this idea if everywhere I wanted, everywhere I went, I would get a t-shirt. Well, I ended up with about 300 t-shirts. And I've probably got 150 left. I don't need all those t-shirts. But then how do you get rid of the, how do you know what, which ones to get rid of? You know, there's the Marie Kondo idea of, oh, what gives you joy? None of my clothes really give me joy. Um, very, very few things give me joy in the way of, you know, clothing. Uh-oh. Oh, oh dear. I'm going to start yawning. And then it's going to be bad. I'm going to get. Bad yawner girl. <laughs> My dog's looking at me like I'm crazy. I probably am. But, um, what do I do about that? I mean, gee, I don't need like 500 shirts. No. You know, I, I was thinking because I, I'd lost some weight and I want to continue. I've got about 60 more pounds I want to lose. I have body clutter too. And I was like, hmm, I bought these specific things. I didn't lose quite as much weight as I'd wanted to before before um, winter hit. And um, some of the stuff I can wear. But I, I just had a few things. Not a whole lot of things. So I, I'm like, hmm. What do I... It, it, it's kind of tough. What do I want to keep and what not? I mean, some things are just easy. Easy peasy. Not a big deal. Um, but I, 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 I'm I'm a little bit at a loss for, like, the clothes things. You know, it's like, uh. And I remembered going to some of the places. And it's like, do I want to get rid of my t-shirt from that place? It fits. You know, and I, I don't, um, because of the girls, so to speak, um, my top half size doesn't change very much because of that. 
I mean, it does some, of course, but not that much. I lost 70 pounds and changed one size, and that's it. Um, the bottom part of me, it changed like three, but the top changed one. That's not very much. So, it's like, oh dear. So then I was thinking, well, maybe I should just cut off the fronts of them and make like a quilt kind of thing out of them. I think that might be the best way to go. Because I I enjoyed, I, I have memories of enjoying these places. But, I mean, I, I've got stuff back to, I'm, you know, in my 30s, I'm 60. So it's like 30 years plus of all the places I've been. And I stopped doing that and started buying smaller things like, you know, a little refrigerator magnet or something like that or a pen or, you know, uh, a postcard that I, you know, postcards that I can cut up and I can put them in in a scrapbook you know so that's that doesn't take up as much space it's not as expensive as other things so I'm really gonna have to think about this how how is it that I want to do this because I want to see when I when I bought the stuff for winter wardrobe my idea was to get into like the Project 333 capsule wardrobe kind of thing. So I don't have any more than 33 pieces of clothing. Okay. Um, and I, I think, you know, for, for each season, I suppose you would do that. That is reasonable. It's reasonable. It's manageable. When I think about, you know, living in a tiny house, which is basically what I'm going to be doing in five years. Um... I'm not going to have a problem with way, way, way too much stuff. So I, I, I need to really think on how I want to do this because I have too much, way too much stuff and it's not reasonable and it's not sustainable for over the long term. And, um, yeah, I'm going to, I feel like I'm going to be putting clothes away and <laughs> picking through clothes for, for weeks and months, which if that's what it takes, that's what it takes, right? So anyway, I think that's all I got to say for today um, while I still am going through my clothes. Yay. <laughs> At least I have some more um, hangers now so that uh, the stuff that needs to be hung up, I can I can do that because that was something I needed to get. Um, so I did do a lot of the the stuff with my um, blankets and sheets. I did that. And um, so for tomorrow, I'd have to think about, um, yeah, because I'm not going to be home for 10 days. Um, I can come and do... I, I can come home for a little while every day. I'm not leaving town. I'm just pet sitting um, at two different places. I'm going to go from one right to the other. So um, I think I have one day in between in the middle where I'm home. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll figure that out when I get to it. But for now, thank you for being here with me. And I will continue uh, working on my clothes and... I do have, I, I can see it right over there. I have another blanket and says sheets that I have to wash. Uh, yeah. So I will continue with washing all kinds of things and doing my best to put them away and um, pare it down a little bit while I'm at it. So thanks so much for being here and sticking with me. And if you're new, I'm Julie, I'm the Pain Guru, and I hope that we all go to bed tonight 
and every night knowing that we feel groovy and we had a groovy day. Okay? So thanks, friends. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.